<laughs> oh, mercy God, what nasty stuff is here? What's this? <coughs> a sleeve? Here's snip and nip and cut and <laughs> slish and slash. Why, what a devil's name, Taylor, cost thou this? You bid me make it orderly and well, according to the fashion of the time. Indeed I did, but if you be remembered, I did not bid you mar it to the time. I'll none of it hit, make your best of it. I never saw a better fashion suit. More quaint, more pleasing, nor more commendable. Be like you mean to make a puppet of me? Why, true, he means to make a puppet of thee. He says your worship means to make a puppet of him. Thou liest, thou thread, thou thimble, thou flee, thou knit, thou what's your cricket thou? I tell the eye that thou hast marred his suit. Your worship is deceived. The suit is made just as my mistress had direction. Rubio gave order how it should be done. I gave him the order. I gave him the stuff. What the order should be made. Mary, sir, <laughs> with a needle and thread. But how did you desire it should be cut? I say unto, I bid unto thee. I say to you, cut out the suit. Not to cut it into pieces. Ergo thou liest! Why? Here is another fashion to testify. Read it! To begin a loose bodied suit. Mistress, I, I said suit! Proceed! <laughs> <laughs> With the trunk sleeve. I confess, two sleeves! <laughs> the sleeves curiously cut. Aye, there's the villainy. Error in the bill. Error in the bill, man! Error in the bill! This that I say is true. Thou shouldst know it. I am for thee straight. Well, sir, in brief, the suit is not for me. You're in the right. This for my master. <laughs> Go, take it upon to thy master's use. For oh, Timothy, say that will to the tailor page. Go, be gone and say no more. Taylor, I will pay thee for thy suits from all. Take not unless they have the hasty word. Away, I say! Come with me to thy mistress! Welcome, my mate. We will unto your father's house. <laughs> Even in these honest mean abilities. Our purses shall be rich, our garments poor. For tis the mind that makes the body rich. What? Is the jay more precious than the lark because her feathers are more beautiful? Oh, no, good Nate. We will henceforth live to feast and sport us at thy father's time. Oh, no, good Nate. Let's see, I think tis now some Let's seven o'clock. Let's see, I think tis now some seven o'clock, and well we may there by dinner time. I dare assure you, ma'am, tis almost two, and twill be supper time ere you come there. It shall be seven ere I go to horse. Look what I speak, or do, or think to do. You are still crossing it. I will not go, and ere I do, it shall be what o'clock I say it is. Why, the mistress commands to say.